Hey, it's Trenton with Hall's Guy Diecast News, and I just got the 2016 Hot Wheels M case. Uh, it's only been about two weeks since I reviewed the M case, so I was really surprised to get it here this fast. Uh, but that was thanks to Granite Toys. Uh, we got the case from Granite Toys at GranitToys.com. You can always check them out online. You can order the latest cases, or if you wish, just order the latest singles instead of paying for the whole case. Uh, you can pay for the singles that you want out of the new cases and you will get them almost certainly before they're going to show up at your retail stores. So we're going to go ahead and open this one up and see what's inside. Uh, before we do, I want to say uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so and you'll get notifications on all of the latest videos when they come out. I'm always going to review uh, the latest Hot Wheels cases as soon as they come out and I'm doing lots and lots of reviews over individual diecasts as well. So you'll want to be uh, up to date on that. So go ahead and click the subscribe button as we get started here. Okay, here we go with the end case from 2016. First up, Mazda MX-5 Miata. We did see that one in the last case. That was a new model last time in that last case and it is a very popular new model. And I'm really excited to see that one again. Perhaps the most popular model from the M case was this one. And this is the 16 Ford Focus RS. And uh, just judging from the number of views I got on the individual uh, review video I did of this one. Uh, this is maybe the most popular. It did get the most views out of all of the other videos I did. Another uh, is a duplicate of the uh, MX-5 Miata. Oh, sorry, making a mess here. And we've got a pair of the Turbots there. Uh, that is a new model that came out in the M case, and I did happen to review that one as well. Oh, ooh, wow. The Ford, the 17 Ford GT. Uh, this is the Super Treasure Hunt, uh, if you happen to get it with the right wheels on it, and it's also a new model. I'm not sure if we have seen a new model that also doubled as a Treasure Hunt or Super Treasure Hunt in the past, uh, but this is a really cool model. Uh, this is set to be released by Ford next year, or I guess as a 17 model. It actually should come out by the end of 2016. Limited production, really cool supercar. So uh, that is the 17 Ford GT. I really like that one. I've always liked the old Ford GTs and the GT 40s. So uh, I'm really gonna, really excited to see that one, and uh, excited to see this one as a super treasure hunt as well. Another super popular one from about two cases ago. This is the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Uh, originally going for over $300 in the very beginning. Uh, this one's calmed down a little bit, but still super popular on the secondary market. There is the Carbonator. Uh, just did a video review over the Carbonator from the Tool in One series. We saw it in the last case. Uh, so that video review. Uh, we tested it out to see if it would actually work as a bottle opener. So uh, if you go check my videos out or subscribe, you'll get updates when I send these out. Uh, but if you go check out my past videos, uh, you can check out that one where we test this one out to see if it actually works. Here we go with the Bullwhip. This is from the Hot Wheels Race Team Series. We haven't seen much out of the Race Team Series so far this year, but I have a feeling they're going to start showing up. Uh, since we only have two cases to go after this one for the rest of the year. Uh, so this is the Bullwhip. I think it was released last year as a new model. And uh, here we have it in the Race Team series with the Hot Wheels Race Team graphics on it. Up next we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. 
and uh, this one was also found in the end case another very popular model especially with the JDM collectors And here's a couple of Driftas in pink uh, from the last case. Uh, that one was the Super Treasure Hunt in the N case. And Rapid Response, we saw that one last time. Voltage Spike, uh, we've seen that one before. And uh, from the Hot Wheels game series, this is the Velocita. So the Velocita, I uh, see a little runner on there. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels game series, so it uh, features images from different sports. And uh, I am a fan of this one because I am a big fan of track and field and running. Uh, so it looks like that's what that one is representing right there. And we got a duplicate of that one. Uh, I'll take a look at these one at a time. There is the SRT Viper GTSR, also from the Race Team series in the Hot Wheels uh, Race Team Blue. And the Quick and Sick, also from the Hot Wheels game series. And uh, what sport is this one? Uh, it's hard to tell. Maybe, maybe basketball. I'm not for sure. We may take a closer look at that one later and we'll see. Uh, the Bone Shaker in green. The Tank Nader. Uh, we covered this one. We reviewed this one in our last, in our last, uh, in the M case. Uh, so we took a closer look at this one, took it out of the package and everything. The MR11 from the Hot Wheels game series, and uh, this is a soccer themed car right there. So you see a soccer player on there and the uh, fenders there are made up of soccer balls. And that one came as a duplicate. This one at a time. There's the Renault Sport RS1. We saw that one in the last case. And a 2010 Ford Mustang GT in yellow. Here's a new one to the M case from the Super Chrome series. This is Hot Wheels High. So this is a school bus and this is in gold chrome. Uh, that's kind of a cool casting <clears throat> with the gold chrome. We'll take a closer look at that one. Uh, you can see all the seats inside there. McLaren P1 from the Hot Wheels Exotic series. This time it's in yellow. And another Tank Nader. Uh, there's the Flyby. We've seen that one previously. And uh, Combat Medic uh, from the Art Car series with an A on top of it. Uh, I believe this is a recolor. I don't think we've seen this color yet. And we got another combat medic. The Porsche Carrera GT in yellow. So there's that one from the exotic series as well. And here's one I just covered in a recent video. Uh, Ford Shelby Cobra concept in red. and another Renault Sport RS01 in silver. All right, let's get this divider out of the way and see what the other half has in store for us. 
69 Dodge Charger 500 in green from the Nightburner series. Lotus Esprit S1. This one's yellow. A lot of yellow in this in this case here. So if you're a fan of yellow, you're gonna love this case. And uh, we got a duplicate there. There's the 85 Honda CRX in white. And another one of those. So we got a duplicate. Sixty-nine Mercury Cyclone from the Hot Wheels Flame series. It's a really cool color on that one, and the flames go really well on it. They really stand out. The seventy Camaro we saw in the last case, the black one from the Hot Wheels Flame series, kind of an old school uh, flame pattern there. Ford Shelby GT. 350R. This time in red. We saw it in blue. It comes back to us in red. This is a new model for this year. Really, really nice car. Uh, great casting. And we did take a closer look at the blue one. I think we're going to have to take a closer look at the red one as well. And here's another quick and sick there. A Mad Props from the Sky Show series. There's a plane for you. Not the best track car. Maximum Leeway. Uh, I want to say that looks like boxing on the side there. Uh, yeah, I believe that one represents boxing. This is from the Hot Wheels game series. And there's a duplicate. We'll do these one at a time here. It's 69 Dodge Coronet Super B in orange with black flames. And another one we reviewed from the M case. This is the Custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback from the Art Car Series with the letter W on top. Another of the Dodge Coronet. Ah, we got a recolor. This one came to us first in white and now still featuring some Castrol graphics on it, but this time in black with red and blue stripes. Uh, this is the 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. That is a mouthful. Um, but that's been one of the popular new models that was released this year. Uh, JDM fans have really been gobbling up some of those cars. And now some of the European classics are really starting to pick up in popularity as well. So uh, there's that one. And we got an extra one. So that's good. Take one out of the package and uh, show it off. And the other one um, be able to keep in the card, on the card. And the BMW K1300R, I believe we've seen this one. I think we've seen it in that color as well. It's from the BMW series. The Chevy Blazer 4x4, uh, we have seen this one in yellow, and we've seen it in this red color before as well. Uh, BMW M4 in white. We've also seen that one in previous cases, and I uh, got two of those. And there's the What's Up from, uh, I believe that's this, this color scheme is new to the M case, purple and kind of a lime green there. And they gave us two of those. Toyota Supra. This one came in the last case, the M case, and I covered this one recently in a video. The Blitz Speeder. It's a good track car there. 
from the X Racer series. You can kind of see down inside of that one through that tinted plastic. Epic Fast from the Digital Circuit series. Uh, this one's in a bright green uh, with some purple wheels in the back, purple uh, purple windshield there, and uh, it's got chrome PR5s in the front. Uh, another one of those. There's the bone shaker again. We saw that uh, in the other half of the case. And we also saw the Nissan Skyline in the other half of the case and in our last case that we, we, and we covered this one individually. Another Shelby Cobra concept. The Blade Raider. This is from the Hot Wheels game series. It's also a new model. First time we've seen this one and it's in white. Uh, kind of a cool off-road racer there. Almost looks like a cross between a off-road rally type racer with a uh, possibly a formula car. And it looks like the sport represented here is archery. Uh, so another cool one from the Hot Wheels game series. Uh, I'm assuming these are to kind of go uh, with the Olympics that are coming up here in a few weeks. Olympic trials are going on right now, if you've been keeping up with any of that. Um, but it seems like all of these cars in this series are getting released right now as we're leading into the Olympics. So I think that's what this is all about. But that's archery, uh, another sport that I'm really into, I really enjoy. Uh, if you don't know, uh, my dad builds bows for a living, so I've always grown up around archery. Minecart from Minecraft. We saw that one in the last case. Actually got two of those this time. Uh, so we did cover that one. We put Minecraft Steve in there, let him roll around in it a little bit. Another new model, Formula Flashback. Uh, this is a flashback to some of the old formula cars, but it is a new model. It's a Hot Wheels original design that's reminiscent of some of the old formula cars uh, with a little bit of a modern spin on it. And there's one more of those. And also another Blade Raider that we just looked at. So a couple of new models there. Uh, one of them is definitely a Formula Race car, and the other one is a uh, rally car, off-road car, that kind of resembles a Formula One race car. Okay, that was the 2016 Hot Wheels in case. And uh, since the uh, regular treasure hunt from this set did not show up in this case. I will go ahead and let you know it is the Howlin' Heat from the Street Beast series. Uh, we've had a lot of great treasure hunts this year and it seems like with that one they're kind of getting back towards the, the fantasy castings that really uh, aren't all that popular. Uh, but that's what it is and if I do come across one uh, later on I'll be sure to get it, open it up and uh, show it to you in detail. And if you'll subscribe, subscribe to our channels, uh, you or our channel, you will see all of the uh, other cars uh, that I open up, and I'll open up a lot of them from this case, a lot of the new ones and uh, the more popular ones, and I'll do individual reviews over those as we wait for the next case to come out. Uh, so you'll want to be subscribed so you can check those out. And uh, thanks again to Granite Toys for the case. And uh, you can always find them online at granitetoys.com. You can follow the links down at the bottom of the video in order to, uh, uh, to get to their website. And uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram uh, through those links as well. And uh, as always, we're found online at hallsguide.com where we give you the latest in Hot Wheels price guides and news and uh, we even have an updated uh, message board. Uh, so we appreciate you watching our video and uh, give us a thumbs up and be sure to share it with all of your collecting friends. Thanks for watching.